I'm going to Aruba. I'm going to Aruba. I'm going to Aruba. So I'm back from Aruba. I'm back home. Uh, we've been home for a couple days now and as promised I took lots of pictures and filmed pretty much everything we did while we were there. So I'm going to go ahead and compile all those footage and some pictures and go ahead and show you the video. Uh, let me just say that it was absolutely the best trip ever. It was amazing and I didn't want to come home like who would want to leave 85 degree weather and um, the Caribbean Sea and a really awesome pool and great food and not having to work for a week but uh, the motivator of coming back home and the best part was seeing this little guy again <laughs> this is my dog Sammy my mom took exceptional care of him while I was gone and he loves going to his grandma's house, but I really, really missed him because he's so funny and cute and adorable. And I think he really missed his mommy too. So I'm really glad to be back, um, you know, to see him and just my family and all that. But I did have a really good time and I hope this video isn't too boring for you guys. We're really not that exciting um, <laughs> people, but you're going to meet my fiance. That's who I went with. His name is Scott. And we've been together for about two and a half years. We're getting married this summer. And I wanted you all to kind of meet him too and kind of, you know, get to know me a little better. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> so the trip actually did not start out all that well. Hey guys, so a little story. I had some bad luck today. We went to the airport to go on our trip to Aruba and our flight was canceled because of fog and I'm really bummed dang it so we're going back home now and we did get another flight for the morning so hopefully that will work out and we'll be able to go tomorrow so I don't know if this trip is like meant to be or not I'm trying to tell myself everything happens for a reason you know, I would rather be here and be safe rather than get on the plane and something bad happen. So I'm trying to just tell myself that. So we're going to go back home now and probably just hang around and get some rest and um, try it again tomorrow. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed and I will keep you updated. So we get up the next morning and it is like the worst thunderstorm ever in the middle of January or at the end of January, 60 degrees, which is totally not like, you know, what normal weather for this time of year. And thunderstorms, I mean, downpour of rain, heavy thunder, lightning, um, wrecks all over the road on our way to the airport. It was about an hour away. I had convinced myself we were not going because, you know, the day before we couldn't fly because of fog, we're definitely not going to fly a plane in a thunderstorm. And I was like, how embarrassing. I told everyone I'm going to Aruba <laughs> and we're not even going to be able to go. So I was so down about it that once we got to the airport, everything stopped. It was a, a clear, like everything cleared up. We got on the plane. It was delayed another 30 minutes. So I was afraid we were going to miss our connector flight and sure enough once we got to the other airport they were already boarding the plane to Aruba so we had to run and just literally go as fast as we could to get on the plane but after all that drama everything else about the trip was perfect. I don't like these doors they make me nervous. So. So here's some more of our hotel we're staying at. It's really pretty in here. Really nice. I'm just kind of sitting on these couches. So I thought I would start off with just a little tour of our room. I'm going to walk in. 
and it's really pretty. Kind of just very neutral and tasteful. Come in. There's a TV, a little cabinet. Come over here and there's a balcony. Well, that is the room that we were in. And we have some double doors here and I'm in the bedroom right now so I'll turn around and show you what that looks like. Another TV there. Another little balcony where you can go out there and look around. And there's the bed. Really nice. And there is the bathroom. As you walk in, we had double sinks there, really big mirror, and a little um, coffee area. And that was really nice. And then there was this really awesome shower and a really cool bathtub. And yeah, I love that stone wall. It's like the perfect shower. So let's look at the view out here. Wow. Oh, there's some, it's like called parasailers. Looks fun but scary. <laughs> And everything smells so good here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> Hey everybody, so I'm getting ready to go down there. Isn't it so pretty? Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, so far I'm having an awesome time. This is the nicest place ever. And we had an awesome supper last night. I showed you a little bit of it, but I forgot to film before I started like cutting my steak up. So it probably didn't look as good as it really was, but it was awesome. I just thought I would show you all what I was going to do today, and then later we're going to go eat and watch um, a ball game on TV. But I will see you then. Hey guys, so it is now Tuesday. This is our second day here in Aruba. And we're getting ready to go out for supper. It's about 6.30 right now. So, I just thought I'd share with you real quick what I'm going to wear. I'll go ahead and start out with just jewelry. I'm just wearing some silver studs. I can't really even tell you where I got these. They're just really basic. I probably got them from Claire's or somewhere. And then this necklace. It says love, and it's from Forever 21. It was just really cheap. And, okay, so my shirt and my shorts are also from Forever 21, so I'm just going to step back and show you. This shirt is just really cute. It's yellow and white striped, and it has like a little... I don't know, like a little flower pattern right there. It's really thin. I've got on a white tank underneath. And it's just really comfortable and flowy. And then my shorts, um, they're just like a mint green color and they're kind of distressed right there and they're super comfy. They're kind of like rolled up here at the cuff as well. I know what that looks like. And then my shoes, these are actually just sandals from Walmart that are so comfortable. And they're just like brown kind of sandals, so that's pretty much it. We're going to go to <clears throat> this restaurant down the street that Scott has been here a couple times. And he really likes this restaurant. It's called Fishes and More, so of course I'm going to take you with me. It's supposed to be really good. I think I'm going to get a steak. <laughs> I'm really hungry. Fishes and more. Let's go in. Fishes and want. more. Is that what we want? Mm -hmm. Very, very good. What has been your favorite part of the trip so far? Well, I would say. Uh, Possibly the food. Yeah. Of course the beach. Beaches are beautiful. Has this uh, been your favorite place? Uh, fishes and more? Yeah. Probably so, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Great service. 
great oh, people. I would say it's my second favorite place. Why is that? Because those coconut shrimp today were absolutely unbeatable. Mm. Look at these giant coconut shrimp. They're huge. I agree. And the rice and the veggies, you can't beat it. So today I thought I'd come out and check out the pool area. Y'all you know, love the beach, but I have to look at everything. The only thing is there are lizards everywhere! Oh my gosh! <laughs> and look at this huge thing. Oh my gosh. It was coming right towards me. I think it's going to go past me now. But what if one of these like crawls up on my chair? That one just came out from underneath my chair up there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I had all of the pool that I could take. I had to come back to the beach because the lizards were getting very aggressive. And I looked down and I just happened to see one right on top of my beach bag and I had to make really loud noises and run it off. And I just knew it would be a matter of time before I woke up and one would be on me. So I just came on back down to the beach and it's really pretty today. I'm gonna show you all what it looks like super not a cloud in the sky super pretty today it's really hot i've had to reapply my sunblock like a million times because i don't want to get any more burnt than i already am people are looking at me like i'm crazy talking to myself <laughs> do you all want to go out into the water all right let's go it's it's really cold <laughs> big wave. Oh. I just love how it's like the water is different colors. Like in some places it's really blue and then in some places it's really green. I just think it's beautiful. This is our hotel. It's really neat because it has a clock at the top so that you can kind of keep track of time and realize how long you've been out here and when you just have to eat and that sort of thing. Sorry, I just got splashed by a really cold wave. 